It really is a funny thing. I can't tell you for sure when I knew that this was it, that this was forever. For me, it's not a specific moment in time. It's a timeline of the small things. The small moments, the small gestures, the in-betweens. It's your constant awareness of me and who we are together. Margaret, to find someone as special as you out of all the people in the world is one I never imagined. You are my best friend and my one true love. You are my soulmate and I'll spend the rest of my life making sure you know how special you are. the brains over to you in regards to moving Margaret. I've moved her a total of 14 times in the last 16 years. Eight times in and out of college, six times between Rhode Island, Boston, Manhattan, back to Boston, and finally Newburyport. That's enough for me. I'm getting too old for this. <laughs> Mom and I cannot wait to see what the next chapter of your life for the two of you brings. Ian, welcome to the family. and Marks have found each other. I truly believe that you balance each other out and God willing, we'll make a beautiful family together. I know that if our Nani were here today, my father's mother would do anything to be here to witness her favorite grandchild marry the love of her life. I know she's looking down on you today with a big smile on her face and an even bigger poof on her head. And welcome to the family. Let's all raise a glass and celebrate for the first time. Mr. and Mrs. Margaret and Ian Nickel. Congratulations. Look inside your heart and I look inside mine. Things look so bad everywhere. In this whole world, what is fair? We walk the line and try to see. with Ian since middle school and we are honored to be up here tonight to toast our best friend Ian and his beautiful and smart bride Margaret. We've all been hearing the name Ian recently. I'm sure we were looking forward to seeing Ian much more than the Floridians were. It may be too early for hurricane jokes. Maybe we should wait until everything blows over first. <laughs> Who knew that I congratulate Margaret on her work anniversary would lead to this best idea yet, a proposal to Margaret and a beautiful fall wedding in Kenny Bunkport, Maine, so. I don't think there's anyone in this room who cares and loves his friends and family more and Margaret, the one thing for sure is you know that you'll always be loved and cared for. I had the privilege to spend time with Margaret over the past couple of years, and she's a once in a lifetime woman who is capable of golfing, skiing, while simultaneously managing your stock portfolio and contributing to your Yeti obsession. So I wish you a continuous lifetime of adventures, love, 
good communication and to continue building each other up. So let's all raise a glass to Mr. and Mrs. Nickel. Congratulations. I bring me up.